All right, so in under five days or so, we're getting the next UR event. I hope everyone saved up cubes and coins like I told you guys for the past two or three months now since after Musashi's event. I don't know if you guys are listening, but hopefully you guys did. Anyways, though, with the event being announced, I want to give my thoughts and how I feel about this event because it's... It did get some good reception and also didn't get some good reception from the general player base. Now keep in mind our western player base is like a f tiny fraction compared to the other regions as well too. So I don't know how they're feeling. They probably like it. They probably don't like it. Um, but this is how I feel about this upcoming event. So we are getting some USS ships. Uh, Yorktown, Northampton, Hornets. Uh, Langley and uh, Hammond as the second versions of the um, ships in the upcoming event. Now, I know a lot of people, before we start though, I know a lot of people are saying like, Kimo, you're wrong about Alaska, or whatever. If you guys have been watching my videos for the past maybe three months now, I've said it many, many times. It's going to be Midway. Or that's what I want it to be, right? I said it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be Midway. I want it to be Midway. That'd be nice because I am expecting USS Midway to be in this December. And USS Midway is a carrier, so having three 10 rides on three ultra rare carriers is pretty, pretty poggers, you know what I'm saying? You guys have to consider the fact that there's going to be one more UR ship that's happening at the end of the year, Midway. Um, it's going to happen at the end of the year. The upcoming UR ship. Now, if this UR ship is massive, Alaska or Midway, it doesn't matter specifically Midway because she's going to be really, really good. It's going to be... Anyways, though, the point is, for me personally, how I want this event, I want a UR carrier because this is like pretty much the only time like in the video I made like three days ago, it is pretty much the only time we're going to get a UR carrier for quite a while. There are some that people have mentioned that can get a UR carrier as well too. But you guys got to keep in mind, we've gotten those events recently. Like if you guys are saying uh, the Royal Navy UR carriers, we had a Royal Navy event like two, three UR events ago. You're not going to get one like that early. And if you say like IJN... We just had an IJM one like last three months ago. So it's going to be a while. So if they don't do it now, they, they're pretty much going to have to do it like a year later or something like that. But we did get one. It wasn't Midway, but we did get Yorktown too. So I am pretty ecstatic about that. At least me personally, I'm pretty happy about it. Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of people don't like this event because they are reusing old ships. This is one of the reasons why. They're reusing old ships when they could have been like retrofitted or improved. Like a good example of an old ship that got a re good recent buff lately was Hood. With the augment that she received, she is now a pretty good ship. A pretty, pretty good ship. Now, I say this. This is my thought process as to why they did what they did. I believe because a lot of these ships that were released are very old, right? Hood included as well, too. These ships are very, very old. And some of them have really old kits to a point where even if they get, like, a massive retrofit and augment, in, like, improvement, you're, you're just not going to see, like, that, that much, like, impact on it. And, yes, some people are saying that Oh, the Azure Lane is running out of ideas or stuff like that. Now, I'm pretty sure the developers of this game didn't expect this game to be as successful as it is as of, right, as of today. You guys got to keep in mind, this game is like, what, five years old now? So I don't think Manju expected the game to be this, like, st like this last, lo like, lasting for a very long time, so... They probably didn't plan for like a lot of these old ships to like to stay super relevant because I don't think they planned it out. Otherwise, like you guys keep in mind, like ships are at least five years ago are nowhere near as good or some of them are like enterprises, but 
a lot of them are lackluster compared to what we have as of today. So I feel like what they're doing as of right now is instead of just reworking them and adding retrofits and augments to improve them, they just said, let's just add new variations of these ships and then call it a day. Now, I know a lot of people are saying like these ships are differently, like entirely different compared to the prior ones. Like this Yorktown is Essex class, not the um, whatever class it is as of right now. I don't know my history. Sorry, guys. Uh, whatever uh, class it is right now. I don't know if it tells you here. Maybe it does. Um, I know I have my Yorktown somewhere here. Um, has to be some history here. Archive. Okay. Uh, tales. Union. All right, whatever. Um, I can look it up real quick, actually. Um, Eagle Union. I take history lessons or something. Yeah, I should. But whatever. Um, anyways, though, she is Yorktown class. Wow, it, it took me all that time to get to Yorktown class. Anyways, the new one is excess class. This one's Yorktown class, right? So it's different. Now, some people are still gonna say like, "Oh, it's just a copy of the old one, though." Here's another thing you guys can consider. How many gotcha games have you guys played used other variations of that original form? Like altars as people that play fake fake Grand Order calls it, right? All of them. Ark Knight has it, Fake Grand Order has it, Grand Blue Fantasy has it, Princess Connect has it, Blue Archive has it. A lot of popular gacha games has these variations of old characters. Probably Genshin might have it at one point too, like seasonal variations of like Venti or like Catching or something like that. They're, they're probably going to do it. <laughs> you guys may think it's going to be weird, but I can see that actually happening. I can definitely, definitely see that happening. So this isn't new to like Azure Lane. And we also have like Muse ships as well too, which are like the very, like the idle variations of these other ships and like meta versions, right? So I don't know why people are saying like, oh, they're, they're, they're out of ideas. They're just reusing old ships or whatever. A lot of games do this. A lot of games do this. And because this game is based off of, like some of them are based off historical ships, there's a limit to it. It's not like a fantasy game like Ark Knights or Genshin where you can just make up characters. Azure Lane is based off primarily about historical ships. So they're going to have to, they're going to have a cap eventually. To the point where they have to make up ships, use paper ships, collab with World of Warships to add more into the game to keep it fresh for people to enjoy. So, I think people who hate on the part that's being, uh, because they're using duplicate ships is fair. Like, they could have added like Midway or something, right? Well, copium, but hey, I got the ultra rare carrier part right. Better than saying Alaska or whatever. But they could have definitely, definitely done more to add, like, new variations or whatever to the game. But I don't personally hate it, though. I think it's to be expected that they're eventually going to do something like this. I, can, I definitely saw this coming, by the way. Um, well, I didn't see it coming for this event, but I saw it coming, like, sometime in the future, they're going to reuse old ships to add back into banners. I definitely saw that part coming. Just not... I didn't expect it to be at this, like, stage of the game like game but i did see it coming in the future one day though uh the other reason as to why people don't like it is because some people are really really into like alaska now here's the thing yes they did name drop um alaska and this is prime okay going back to what i was saying earlier this is primarily why i like people thought i was saying like i was lying or whatever right so i said midway was going to come out for like three months straight you guys saw the clips earlier i said it for like three months straight it wasn't until recently when they announced the little Japanese post, right? Say Sea of Stars, and people were like so adamant of thinking Alaska is part of the Sea of Star lore because of that one event, right? So I was like, oh, oh crap, maybe it is Alaska. So like I went cold turkey. I turned my cheeks around at the very last second at the last week and thought, maybe it is Alaska. Now here's the thing. I didn't want Alaska. I want it midway. I even in that video I made like three or four days ago, where it says like USS Alaska may be confirmed or whatever. I didn't want Alaska. I just said it's probably going to be Alaska because of this news, but I don't want it to be Alaska. I want it to be midway. I wanted an ultra rare carrier. I don't want another large cruiser. 
That being said, we got an, a carrier. I'm pretty happy about it. So people that didn't get Alaska, listen, we've got so many large carrier or large cruisers this year. Now you can say the same thing about battleships. You got Musashi and Vanguard, but we also got two large carriers or large cruisers this year as well too, Brest and Kronstadt. And if you want to include Cala Ideas as well too, she's also another one. So adding a third or fourth large cruiser this year is just, it's too much. Like it, it's running a full large cruiser fleet is, is just way too slow, especially with this current meta fight, which would be really, really bad timing. Like, oh, I got Alaska guys. Time to try it out in this new meta fight. Oh, wait, this new meta fight doesn't want slow ships. She just sunk immediately. And people are going to think, wow, Alaska is garbage. I used her in this new meta fight. She sunk immediately because it's not catered to large cruisers. It's catered towards fast ships like destroyers. So that's not going to help here. But if they release an ultra rare carrier like Midway, or in this case, Yorktown 2, then it has potential to be really, really good for this upcoming meta fight. Now, I don't know what her kit's going to be. I'll make another video about that. But hopefully, Yorktown 2 is going to be a pretty damn good ship. I know a lot of people are saying that, oh, she's just going to be an ultra rare zombie or whatever, or whatever. But hey, they may change it up. I don't know history that much. Maybe they will keep it historical. Uh, but from what people have told me is that she performed pretty well uh, in the war that she served, or battle she served, and she did pretty all right. So that's my current um, standings of this, as of this event. I think a lot of the hate that the event got is valid. Me personally, I don't mind it. I think this event is great. Um, and just... I don't know, I expected like them to use duplicate ships in the future. I know some people don't like it, but a lot of gacha games do it, so just don't be surprised. Like all popular gacha games, except maybe a couple like Genshin, haven't done duplicate units or characters yet. But hey, they may do it eventually. You may, you may never know. So those are my thoughts of this event. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are gonna talk about the events in my comments, please keep it um Keep it like, keep it like user friendly. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like really like heated up when it comes to this kind of topic. So keep it civil, guys. Anyway, so we got to the video. I'll see you guys in the next one as always.